Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, good morning in New York, at least. This is Greg Michalowski with a 4X commentary for FX Street, uh, taking a, a New York technical review uh, of the uh, 4X market. Let's uh, take a look at the, uh, we're going to start off with gold, actually not a foreign exchange uh, rate per se, but certainly something that uh, affects uh, foreign exchange rates. And if you uh, looked at uh, over the last few days, we've seen the surge in the gold prices. We moved above this uh, channel trend line off the daily chart. Uh, and if you put a, fi a Fibonacci extension of the move up from this low to the high and then correction move to the downside, uh, we moved 61.8% of this move to the upside here. Uh, and uh, we seem to have stalled at that level for the time being. That level comes in at the uh, 120. Uh, or 12, what is it, 95.85 level on the high uh, for the day, coming at 12, uh, 94.82. So just short of that uh, uh, that uh, uh, objective there. there. Uh, and uh, But uh, certainly the goal uh, seems to be on a bullish path uh, uh, as a result of the uh, worries about the uh, the, uh, the dollar. Uh, the FOMC comments certainly yesterday uh, w suggest that the Fed is prepared uh, to continue to uh, provide uh, additional quantitative easing uh, as a result of their mandate to keep inflation. They use that word mandate on a number of different times yesterday uh, in their uh, report. And their mandate is to keep inflation between the 2 and 3 percent. While it's below that level, the core inflation is below that uh, 2 percent uh, level on a year-on-year -year basis. And they're worried about increasing deflation down the road. Uh, and they don't want to get into that situation where they have to uh, fight deflation rather than uh, inflation. If the Fed wants to inflate so that in order to uh, increase inflation, you know, perhaps you need a good old-fashioned dollar selling, uh, or that seems to be one of their policies uh, that they may uh, be applying once again here. Um, I don't know, but uh, they're certainly getting the uh, market's reaction. The market certainly has sold off the dollar, despite the fact that we had weaker data coming out of the Eurozone uh, here today. The Euro has moved up. The dollar uh, has gone down. Uh, and uh, I put a, a parallel trend line here off of these lows and these highs right here. Uh, and uh, you can see here that uh, yesterday during the after the FOMC uh, decision, the market moved up toward the top end of that uh, uh, top uh, side of that uh, 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 trend line uh, and came off rather quickly. We formed this uh, flag formation here uh, or, uh, or pennant formation here in the uh, euro versus US dollar. And then uh, in the uh, Tokyo session, early London session, the market moved up back up to the upside, had this dip down on the day and then moves uh, sharply to the upside here, uh, suggesting that the market is just not ready for uh, the the dollar to uh, be bought no matter what. And uh, the, so the euro continues to be the uh, currency of choice at the moment, uh, especially with the gold prices going down as well. Uh, so uh, from a technical perspective, where is our next target? I always like to look at targets out there, and I think you should too. And if I go but go to the daily chart and look back at the last time the market was at these levels, uh, it was uh, a, a, in April of uh, end of April and the market uh, peaked at the 134.13 level at this point before the market then took a nosedive to the downside. Uh, this was a stopping point for the euro. Uh, we we uh, came down initially to a low of around the 44 level, uh, then had these other lows here off a daily basis, which caused a minor move to the upside. Uh, and then uh, we, we kind of waffled around uh, this uh, 13 level uh, and the uh, 50, 50 level, moving below, moving above, moving below, above. Uh, and then we had this ceiling here before the market took off to, uh, to the downside or, so, or sold off sharply to the downside. So what was it once a uh, resistance uh, will become resistance again and, and so uh, let's watch the 13 level if we break above that 13 level uh, the really the target is that 50 percent retracement at 135 uh, 10 uh, that's 50 percent retracement of the move down in the euro uh, from the high uh, here that we saw at 151 of uh, 44 uh, going back to uh, November of 2009 uh, let's uh, transition to another currency pair. We'll take a look at the sterling uh, versus the U.S. dollar. And what is significant from a technical perspective here is the currency's ability to stay um, uh, or to bounce off of um, things like the Fibonacci retracement uh, levels uh, and uh, the 100 bar moving average. This is 100 hour moving average because we're looking at an hourly uh, chart here. But uh, if you take uh, the, uh, the the move down from the high uh, that we saw last week on 917 down to the low on the 21st, uh, the market has rebounded above 38.2. We came above the 50%, got above the 100 hour moving average here. Use that 100 hour moving average to support before surging to the upside here to today. Uh, that is a um, 
that is a good sign here when the market holds that level we had this volatile period here this morning whether uh, or today where the sterling came down sharply we broke through the 61.8 percent and where do we stop right on the 50 percent line right against the 100 bar moving average there's a good uh, buying opportunity here in the market surge back up to the upside now in the last couple hours the market has found support again at the 61.8 percent and uh, we'll be watching this level this uh, today 156.41 is at 61.8 stay above that line and we should see a rotation back to the upside in the sterling versus US dollar back toward the high of perhaps 157.27 that we saw last week uh, in that currency pair uh, but this is going to be the key level we're going to be watching here today 156.41 uh, the dollar versus yen uh, the, you know the, this this currency did not escape the uh, dollar selling um, although on a, m a more modest pace obviously because of the Bank of Japan intervention that we saw last week forcing the market to the upside here but since that time we've had this consolidation with 186 as a top side we thought that 85 was going to be the floor and that's what the market thought here we also had the 20 level as a floor as well that was this low right here the market came down to the 20 came down to broke through the 20 and then started in between 85 and 20 20 here broke through the even level no intervention hold the 200 uh, hour moving average and break through that the market is testing the resolve of the Bank of Japan will they come in or will a dollar uh, selling Trump uh, the Bank of Japan if you recall that uh, the intervention did not have the support of the other central banks perhaps the uh, Federal Reserve uh, decided that they're more concerned that they would rather have a weaker dollar than a weaker uh, weaker yen at this point despite the fact that it, uh, it's uh, hurting their economy as well uh, so this battle of uh, whose currency is going to be the weakest is going to continue uh, but uh, certainly there's that fear that the Bank of Japan may come in and intervene at any anyone any time and that can cause a surge back up to the upside so I'd be very cautious with positions in in the dollar versus yen uh, in any of the uh, yen, yen cross uh, pairs as well uh, for that reason if the Bank of Japan comes in you could get to see a, a sharp move to the upside but from a technical perspective uh, the bias is to the downside here below the 85 level below the 200 below the 100 hour moving average below the 38.2 percent retracement of this move to the upside all these things are are, are bearish uh, uh, bearish technical indicators with the next target being 8439 uh, that would be the 50 percent retracement of that move up from the intervention to the high so there you have it uh, look at some of the uh, uh, key technicals for some of the key uh, currency pairs here uh, if for FX Street, my name is Greg Michalowski, uh, and I wish you all good fortune in your trading here today.